stay tuned to find out how to make your no so DIY masks. For the first mask, I'm going to begin by hot gluing the bandana down in sections. This is just to build up the layers so that the mask gets a little bit thicker and you're not just breathing through one layer of the mask. Continue folding the mask and hot gluing each time that you fold it. Also make sure that you take the time to hot glue the sides down so that no air can come through the side of the mask. Turn the bandana to the other side and start hot gluing the bandana from what will now be the bottom up. You'll want to fold in the two corners, hot gluing as you go making sure that everything will stay together once your folds are completed. Next, you'll apply hot glue along that bottom line of the bandana and fold it upwards to meet in the middle. The goal is to create a thickness for the mask so that it helps protect you a little bit better. Now, of course, keep in mind, this is not a replacement for the medical grade masks, but just a way to keep yourself protected as you have to run into the store. To apply your hair ties, you're going to slide the sides of the bandana through the hair tie and hot glue accordingly. Make sure that you add hot glue to the hair tie so that it stays secure. This is the time where you'll try on your mask to see if it fits. If it is too loose like mine was, you'll add more hot glue and then fold inwards. You want to make sure that you have a tight fit for the mask. For the second mask, we're going to begin by hot gluing the sides of the bandana together to form a triangle. Just add several layers of hot glue to the outer edges and then create a couple more layers on the inside until you're able to hot glue corner to corner, creating a triangle. Next, you're going to hot glue the pointy end of your triangle upwards Kind of creating a little bit of a rectangle you just want to make it to where it will fit the width of your face from above your nose to under your chin next you'll add your hair ties to the bandana just like you did with the first one pulling it through so that it will be long enough to go across the length of your face from ear to ear. Once you apply both hair ties to each side creating your ear holds, you'll tuck in the rest of the material from the bandana. This again will give you layers and make it a little bit thicker than just the folded two folded over pieces. Once you get everything tucked in, You'll add hot glue to secure. And here is what mask number one looks like. This one, I will say, is way more bulkier than mask number two. Um, if you do end up making it and doing the rectangle version, I would suggest that you fold it in just a little bit tighter than I did. And that will reduce some of the bulkiness that you see on the sides. Um, because this one, I should have definitely folded and glued a little bit tighter. 
but it will get the job done if you have to run to the grocery store. And here is mask number two. I think this one came out a lot better than mask number one. It definitely fits my face a lot better. And there is not a lot of extra space on the sides. It is really comfortable. And I think that this one works out a lot better than mask number one. So this would definitely be my suggestion in terms of how to fold the mask to create it. See how there's not a lot of extra space on the sides and it's really tight to my face. So this will be a great uh, mask to use if you have to run to the grocery store. Leave me a comment down below as to which mask you like the best. I'm really sorry if I sound super tired in this video. I actually did come down with some symptoms uh, and ended up in the emergency room this weekend and so I am still trying to recover I wanted to get this video out to you guys though because this virus is so serious and you just need to take as many precautions as you can to protect yourself because this is not a joking matter um, I do hope you guys enjoyed the video, and like I said, I apologize for sounding so tired. Um, I am doing my best to get back to 100%. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for sticking with me. And I hope, I really hope you guys are staying safe and staying indoors as much as you can. Don't take any chances. If you don't have to be outside, please don't go outside, you guys. It's so serious. Make sure that you stay tuned each week. I'm going to keep trying to bring these videos to you guys to give you a little bit of happiness during your week. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, like this video, and share it with a friend. And if you are able to make masks for the hospitals, please donate and do whatever you can to help out because the supplies are so extremely low in all of the hospitals, especially up in the New York area. But I do hope that you guys are staying safe, staying indoors, and wherever you are and whatever you're doing, I hope you're having a great day. And always keep creating.